Hey guys, Tom here. In this video, we'll be discussing the differences between using the 30 amp uh, connector on the Ford F-150 Power Boost Hybrid versus using a 50 amp, uh, obviously connecting to the generator on the other side. Uh, so yeah, stay tuned. Alright, so if we start with the 30 amp, as a little demonstration, so we'll connect these, just 30 amp to the camper, and then plug this into the truck, I'll go start it. Turn the generator on. All right, so if we open the Ford Pass app and hit the vehicle button at the bottom, to Pro Power on board. So you can see the generator is on. It's drawn 300 watts. Uh, so not, not very much. Um, so let's turn on the air conditioner. All right, so that is on. Let's update this. All right, so we're up to 1500 watts on circuit B. Let's turn the air fryer on. All right, we'll refresh this again. So we're up to 2,800 watts, all on the same circuit. So that's the critical difference between using the 30 amp versus the 50 amp. So now let's switch over and do a little experiment with the 50 amp. All right, so before I unplug it, um, I just like to turn off the generator first, just to be safe. So I'm just gonna hit the green button again, turn that off. Unplug the 30 amp move over to the 50 amp lock that in and turn the generator on so this is the advantage of using the 50 amp connector is now you get to use both legs of the generator within the uh, the f-150 uh, Power boost. So we've got the air fryer running, uh, the all the lights are on, the fridge is on, the hot water heater's on, uh, and the air conditioner is also on right now. So if we had just had the 30 amp, then this would have all been transferred into one leg, and uh, you know that that would all be um, you know just on one side instead of split among the two. So that's the advantage there. All right. So hopefully I kind of showed you guys what the difference is between using the 50 amp or the 30 amp. Uh, just to summarize, obviously if your RV uh, just has a 30 amp connection, then you'll just go with the 30 amp. Um, if your RV does support or does have a 50 amp uh, connection on it, then I would definitely recommend buying one of these instead of stepping it down to the 30 amp. And the reason is, is because um, as you can see, uh, just like I explained in one of my other videos, there's four uh, pins here, there's only three here. And what you're losing with this one is you're losing one of the, the legs coming out of the generator. Um, so there's basically two 120 volt legs uh, out of the generator. You're only getting one here, whereas here you get two. Uh, you know, so you've got separate, uh, you know, current going down two separate lines, which can be split within the RV. 
Um, I'm not sure there may be some older RVs or even some newer ones that are wired differently. Um, you know, that, that perhaps, you know, an air conditioner may be on a dedicated circuit or something like that. I don't know how the internal wiring of the RVs is done. Um, so that may be, you know, your mileage may vary, but uh, at least I was able to show in my little experiment, I was able to prove out that uh, by using the 50 amp connection, you can get more power output out of the truck uh, because you can use both legs versus the one. So thanks for uh, visiting guys, and uh, if you like this video, please like and uh, subscribe to the channel. Greatly appreciated. Have a good one.